Yo, what's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Big thanks to each and every one of y'all for supporting the channel, supporting the brand. I really appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. I'd really appreciate that. Really helps out the video. So anybody that hits the like button, thank you so much. We're gonna go ahead and hop into this one. We're actually doing something a little bit different. We're out here on the Ogeechee River again. You know, we've been catching a lot of fish out here. It's actually been a little high recently, the water level. It flooded a good bit last week and we haven't been out here in about a week and it seems as if the waters came up again, but we are still gonna try our best to catch some of these fish. We're doing something a little bit different too. So it's like, I got a couple top waters on my rods. We have this devil's horse right here on the kicking combo. We have a buzz bait on this kicking combo as well. And I also have a new lure that I'm wanting to try out today. So this is actually a beetle. I picked it up at Dick's Sporting Goods a few weeks back. I've been waiting to film a video on it. And uh, I was like, today might be the perfect day to go fishing with this beetle. So that's gonna be the topic around today's video is throwing some top waters, trying out some new stuff, and more importantly, trying to catch a few fish on that beetle because that would just be really cool. I've never thrown one before. And uh, it'll just be something different. It has two feather hooks on it. And it's got that purple and black, very unique, very different. Um, if I could have to assume, you know, the body's jointed right here that you slightly reel this bait and it just kind of goes across the water like that. And uh, one thing that I've talked about a lot recently is out here in this river, these bass eat a lot of crabs. We're over in brackish water. If you go around one more bend, you're pretty much in solid salt water. I know that there's flounder and other types of saltwater fish that live in here with these bass. So these bass are used to eating crabs. And I was almost thinking about it. I'm like, man, I know this is a beetle, but it kind of looks like a little crab. It could, could look like a little crab and imitate it. So, we might end up slaying them today. We're just gonna have to find out, get our baits in the water and see if they're gonna eat some top water today. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's hop right into it. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna get this one started and we're actually gonna start off with the beetle because I'm just curious. I really wanna catch a fish on it. That would be sweet. It's just something totally different. This thing is so weird looking. I don't know, but I was just playing around with it in the water and the action of this thing. It was kind of like what I was saying. It kind of has just a little dark wobble to it. And it has a bunch of little rattles in it as well. Here, let me shake it. So it's pretty loud. But uh, my main plan with this thing is just to throw it up in those little current breaks and slightly reel it and pop it off the bank. And I think we're, we'll end up getting some fish catches on it. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I just want to see if I want to actually eat this and figure out, you know, the best way to work this bait to get these bites. And hopefully they'll end up, you know, just eating in general, eating a top water today. That's a big thing. Oh, look at that, dude. That's it right there. You kind of got to reel it a little fast. It goes like a little bit beneath the surface. Just like that. It's got a good rattle to it. It's like a wake bait. Let's go ahead and get this thing started, guys. See if we can get one on it. I mean, I don't even know what a bass would think this thing is. I don't know. We're gonna sure give it a shot though. Bass and beetles. Bass and beetles today. That's the title. <laughs> Bass and beetles. Oh, oh, oh my god, dude, that was like a two and a half pounder. Oh my gosh. Yo, that got me so excited. Let's see if we'll eat it. Do you see him dive yeah, over? Yeah, had to kind of bring it yeah. off of the surface so and let it go under. Yeah, dude. I saw him dive. Like a little crankbait. Bro, that that was a good little fish, too. I don't know if that's a, that's a, not a good sign. Like, maybe it was the color? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, because I can promise you I'd pick, pick up a different bait and he'll eat it right now. Dude, that was a good fish too, man. Gosh. Dude, that was the perfect fish to eat it too. Dude, he just, he did everything but eat it. Like if I throw, let's try it, dude. I'll throw a different top water in there, guys. 
if it's devil's horse, will he eat it? Is the real question. Like, is he just not wanting top water? All right, boys, so we've tried the devil source and we've tried the beetle. We had one come up on a beetle. So what I'm gonna do, you know, recently, we've been catching them on a jerk bait really good. So this is gonna be our little test. Will they eat a jerk bait? Something simple, something clean. Let's see. We threw those top orders in there about 15 times. This first cast on a jerk bait. Will they eat it? Yes, he ate it. I think that tells us something. It came off right there. That was first cast on a jerk bait. Like, that's already telling me top water is not the move today. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our heads down and still throw that top water and try to catch some good fish on it. That's uh, that's crazy, man. That wasn't the same fish that hit that beetle though. That was a little smaller one. They just love this jerk bait. If I got a worm or a crawl down there. Oh my gosh, did you see that yeah. fish? All right, I'm gonna. Fast boy. That sucker tanked it. I stuck him though. I don't know if he'll eat it. I'm gonna throw a beetle in after that. What's up, buzzbait? I cut her off. Yeah, I cut her off and put that beetle on. Yeah. I think they just want some under the surface. Oh my gosh, dude. I never felt that fish, never nothing. But I saw my line just pop up the moment I jerked it down. S knock the slack in the bait. There he is. Little bass. On the old jerky sparky. I ain't purpose of today's video guys, but I'm gonna tell you it's been so good I got third a little bit. It's a little bass start off the day. You know we had that one miss the beetle I had that one come off on the jerk bait. I had one twirl on the jerk bait and then just had this guy eat it. Nice. You know that was just Dude. in my head. I was thinking, what if it's ever cast? <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm gonna get all addicted to this, dude. I don't know if I'm gonna put this bait down until I don't catch one. I watched me catch like 25 in a row. At that point, I might as well pick up another bait yeah, and I'm not, I wouldn't be mad at it. see if they eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep throwing it until I, if, if I don't get a bite this cast. Mm. Okay, okay, I'll do it. It's better for the video, but not really good for nose feelings. I love that jerk bait, dude. I just really want to see one eat this beetle. Yeah. Like if they eat that, they should eat it. I mean, I get you're talking about two different things, two different actions, but it's like, can you please just launch it? 
I know there's gonna be like an angry bass that's like, screw this beetle, dude. Just tanks it. Sounds like a monkey, don't it? Like, look, I just threw that in there, right? Like, I'm gonna pick up this. Jesus, that's a good one. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, how many casts did I just throw with the top water? Maybe eight or nine, ten casts. And I pick up this jerk bait, I'll throw it right in there, and he's. <clears throat> I don't understand. Plus, a lot of you guys have been catching them on this jerk bait too. I, I've got a lot of DMs and pictures from y'all um, that went and got this jerk bait. I don't know what it is about it. This is strobe shad, the little Strike King KVD jerk bait. They they just pepper this thing. I mean, the paint's ripped all the way off this bait. Um, but if you guys want to check it out or get like a discount, I got the codes and links down below. You can get you a little discount on it, but. I'm telling you, that thing's been catching some fish. Like, we caught a 10 pounder on a few weeks ago. Like, pond fishing, river fishing, Savannah River, Ogeechee. Everywhere we go, they're just <laughs> munching that bait. Like, oh, I can't stop. I can't stop. It's too good, dude. It's too good. I promise, guys, this isn't gonna be a jerk bait video, even though I've caught like six on it. I promise. We are going to catch some on top water. I'm just kind of breaking the ice. We gotta get started somewhere. Gotta get all the bad juju off of us. Catch some fish. All right, boys, so I want y'all to see this. You know, we got the beetle. We're gonna throw five casts, all right? Here we go. <gasps> oh! Oh boy, that was a good one, Cody. Oh, he missed it? Yeah. Dude, I mean, just, that was like a two and a half. Dude, the fish that I've ate, the fish, it might have been the same fish I tried to bite it earlier. I've had two bites on this today, and they were both like solid two pluses. That fish I thought had it, bro. He just never ate it all the way. Oh, gosh. That was a good bite. Did he eat it on the top or underwater? It was like right below the surface. I'd yeah. say probably like three or four inches below the surface. I saw his whole body. I really wasn't expecting that, dude. I was just throwing it up there. Yeah, you were like, watch, I'm gonna throw five casts. Yeah, that. what I was gonna do is I was gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna throw five casts of this and then pick up that and then watch, it's gonna happen on the first cast. <laughs> and all of a sudden he just rails it. I, like they're not committing to it. It could be the color of it. I mean, it could be everything. It could be the action. It could be the color. It could be that they're not wanting to eat top today. That's why I'm kind of trying to crank it. But I will say the two bites that I've had were good ones. All right, boys. We have been throwing this beetle lure for like three hours and nothing i've had two bites on it I had two good fish to swirl on it but rather than that i mean i have not caught a fish on that thing i don't know if the beetle lures just sucks or the fish aren't eating top water today or it's the color of the beetle lure there's so many little things i've tried throwing it like a crankbait i've tried reeling it like a top water i've tried doing everything and i just cannot get a fish to eat it but then again if i pick up a bait that i know is going to catch them like that jerk bait i just smoke them so it's like i know the fish are there they're just not wanting to eat it. Even the ones that I came after it, they just kind of swirl on it. They're a little iffy on it, which kind of keys off to me that that color, I don't think that color is the best bet. But we're gonna keep on trying it, guys. We're gonna fish with that thing today, whether we catch them or not, we're gonna keep on throwing it. And uh, I really think we're gonna end up getting one good one on it. I think we could look into a good one on it. I think a good one to eat it. Here we go. Beetle lure. I'm gonna be honest, I was thinking about going back in that tree spot before this one, but I just don't know yeah. how shallow it is.
Are they ready for a bee lure? What if this spot's just done, bro? Oh, how's I say that? Is it a good one? Yeah, that's fine, dude. That's a nice Squeaky. one. Squeaky. Pretty colors on them. Yeah. Something looked weird about them. I think it was just the colors making the reds on them. Yeah, it looks like oranges. Yeah. Oranges or red. Nice. Oh, I meant to tell him to eat the beetle. Tell his friends hey man, you gotta tell them we just need a beetle bass. <laughs> I was just trolling and I got this fat guy, dude. Uh, we didn't know if it was a stick or a tree or a fish. Dude, that thing is a brute, yeah, too. It is. Yeah, it is. That was crazy. Yeah, I was about to say when it started running at you, I'm like, that has to be a fish. That's a, one of the fattest small guys I've ever caught. Wow. Nice. So, boys, we kind of have a problem. Um. I did not mean to pull into this spot. It, <laughs> put it this way, towards the mouth of this canal is like half a foot of water. And I just scraped over the sandbar and the water's getting pumped out so, so quick. And I'm just terrified that I won't be able to get out. So fingers crossed, we're gonna spend about five minutes fishing, see if we can load up on some, possibly get one on this beetle. And then we're getting out of here. Because this is, I, uh, I don't know, I'm a little sketched out, but I guess we'll see. Fishing hasn't been the best today. You know, we've been trying all this top water, it's just not happening. So at this point, just hoping we'll get one on this beetle real quick and get out of here. We better be able to get out of here, bro. I'm gonna lose it. I will not get trapped in here all night. I'm telling you, we should not be in here right now. Let's try to attempt to get out of here. Yeah, I'm a little. Nothing like this has ever happened to us. Like, you can tell just in here how low it is, you know yeah. what I mean? You're but, one of the most careful people, though, when it comes to, like, stuff like that. Yeah. It's always on your mind. I'm usually very cautious, but, yeah, we, like, pulled up in here. I was like, yo, Cody, can you <laughs> stand up on the front? I was like, just see the depth of it. And he couldn't see the bottom, but by the time it was too late, my, my boat was getting sucked in there like, I had my polarized glasses I bet I could see that's why I'm bottom. scared though you see what I'm saying we're going up in current right we have to have force to get us out this time it pulled us in so we have to have this force to get us out which sucks because the motor goes down see what I'm saying so maybe I use the trolling motor I I don't know we're about to find out you going down a little bit, yeah. There you go. Kind of leveling it out more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. oh my god. Dude, we're in the sand right now. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, that was close. Look at it. Got it. We ain't stuck out here overnight. Oh. <laughs> that would have blown, bro. That would have sucked. Something I was saying. Oh, gosh. Dude, he's, I got him under the gill. That's why he felt so big. Oh, my God. Dude, I thought I had him, bro. I was like, oh, Oh God! <laughs> Yo, I I don't know. I thought I had a tank. <laughs> you saw my rod though, like that was some serious bending. <laughs> hey, I'm just happy to catch him. Yeah, bro, I leaned into that sucker. All of a sudden, I, I couldn't even move him, and he was just going with the current. I was like, boy, I thought this was like a six seven pounder. Man. Well, boys and girls, we just got off the water and let me tell you, it was a tough day. We did not catch one dang fish on this beetle lure. Normally, like me and Cody were talking about, we wouldn't post a video like this. Like we didn't complete the task that we were here to do today. But then again, I was thinking about it. We got a lot of rain that's pushing in here. I don't know how much content we're gonna be able to film. 
I was thinking about it, I was like, man, how about let's just show this video and show the people, you know, sometimes this happens. Sometimes you go out there, you don't smoke the fish. Sometimes you don't catch what you want to catch or catch them on the bait that you want to catch them on. And uh, that's just the realization of it. And we were going to show it today. You know, we went out there. Our main goal was to catch them on this beetle lure. It didn't happen, but we still got to go catch some fish on a regular bait. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see some more videos like this where we take out interesting lures and go put them to the test and try to catch some fish, let us know down below. And the biggest thing, does this beetle lure work? Is it worth it? I really don't know. Like I said, we had two bites on it. The fish didn't commit. I think if I would have had a different color like this one right here, you can tell it just has purple and blue on it. You know, it don't have much on it. Just purple and blue and I don't know. It's not a realistic color. I just thought it was cool and I wanted to try it out. So maybe we'll have to do this challenge again sometime soon. Get a couple different colored beetle lures and go back out and give it a shot. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit that like button. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you all in the next video.